All right, back in business. Got a memory card. Now I'm living Best Buy. But I did look around for a little bit because I am a sucker for electronics. Technology. Love it all. <clears throat> so, now I am trying to decide what I want for lunch. And yes, I do have a little lipstick on today. Just a little bit. I felt a little pretty. So, hey, nothing wrong with putting a little lipstick on, right? So, I hope everybody had a good weekend. I did. It was a good weekend. Got out the house. Um, finished a little Christmas shopping but this afternoon I'm going to try to do a little gift wrapping because I need to do some gift wrapping and then I need to make some plans to go pick up the rest of the gifts um, my mom sent by my cousin so that might be this weekend. But, um, nothing too special going on today. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna cook for dinner because the kids will be coming home with homework. So, that's another chore. All three will have homework. They always have homework. All three have homework on Mondays. So that's enough rambling for right now. I think I'm going to give me that salad from Chili's. I think it's what I have a taste for. So that's where I'm headed. I'm going to put the camera in my purse and take you all with me. I did not end up vlogging in chili. Ow, I caught my hair. Because, I don't know, I'm still getting oh, used to the whole vlogging in public or whatever. So, ooh, that wind. And being by myself, it feels kind of weird. So, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Give me a little bit. So I went in Sam's, ran in there real quick, but I ended up being on the phone with my best friend the whole time. Since we don't work together anymore, it's harder for us to talk because she works third shift. So it's 2:58. I'm gonna go, and go home, let the dogs out. And then try to decide what is going to be for dinner something quick because that homework so yeah all right so we're gonna go home Everything's pretty much frozen. I need some look. right here. It's itching on my hand. Um. Ugh. My mom made it seem so easy. I'm like, I feel like I ask like, Mama, how did you? How was? How was it? Like, how did you figure out like what you wanted to cook for dinner? Which I don't know. I had run out of stuff to make because my kids they're still young and they still have their picky choices and like the vi like the vegetables I'd be like look drink eat the vegetables or you're drinking a whole glass of milk I don't know okay so headed to the house I don't even have anything really to talk about I don't think Talked about Christmas shopping. 
Um, yeah, that's it. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Oh, one thing I think I probably talked about. I'll touch bases on it. My kids have been dealing with um, this little boy um, picking on them. And they said that he's always in trouble. He's always either suspended or after school detention of some sort. So, um, I went to the school. Talk to the assistant principal. I um, also talked to the teacher about it because it was one particular day where he did push my daughter on the playground. He pushed her down pretty hard and my son was upset because he wasn't around. And like my son, he's a typical boy, but he's like skin and bones. So um he pushed my daughter again and she pushed him back now i will say this i don't i do not condone violence i do not condone you know having to fight all the time but i'm gonna say this i do condone my kids defending themselves because you only can take so much and I don't want them to feel like they can't defend themselves against the bully. And if there is this child, it's a problem child. And I'm not going to say the child's name or nothing like that, but this little boy is getting on my nerves. So she defended herself. And then they're going to try to change her. They put a note on her conduct sheet. And like, like I tell you, like Adriel, when she's in, when she gets in trouble, she be like, okay, yeah, I did it. But then she'd be like, okay, when she came home this particular day, she was extremely upset. And she was like, mommy, he pushed me first. Why should I get in trouble? He pushed me first and I was just defending myself. I'm tired of him always pushing on me or pushing on my brother or pushing on other people. So I was like, baby, you're not in trouble. And I did, I called the school again, and I talked to the principal again, and he said he would look more into it. I still had heard back from him. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go above him. I hate to have to do it, but I'm gonna go above the principal because talking to the principal is not getting anything done. It is what it is. See, so yeah, that's my little vent for the day. Uh, Cause you know, mommy mode. I'm in mommy mode. You know, mommy bear. And I'm messing my little cubs. <laughs> Those are my cubs. I'm gonna make sure my cubs are good. So yeah, I love my babies. And I know, and I know how it feels to get picked on and a little bullied a little bit. That, that this little hump right there is not gonna hold it. Um, yeah. I need to find some kind of mount for my camera for when I'm in the car. So, cause I think if I, if I had to sit my camera on where it wouldn't slide across the dash so much, then I probably would vlog a whole lot in my car. So I'm constantly in and out of my car and it's easy to talk. So, yeah. Okay. I think I'm done now. So I will see y'all back at the house. My kids will probably be back. My kids will probably be there in a little bit. So that's when the chaos will start. So I'm pretty sure they're going to want some camera time themselves. So see you in a little bit. Hey y'all. I know I'm just not coming back in here. It is. What time is it? 8 o'clock. I last talked to you all. It was what? 3 o'clock? Got them off the bus. Jump, dive dove in to the homework they've had showers they've eaten and they still going at homework so what they're trying to do they're trying to do the homework for today and tomorrow so they can come home and have somewhat of a free day 
<laughs> so that's what we're doing. Did that math homework? Why y'all looking at me? Do your homework. Because you're talking to yourself. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> he said because I'm talking to myself. <sighs> so yeah, they've done their homework. Um, oh, and then they, the school uh, popped up on us the whole science project thing. This is what I don't understand. I don't know. Have you all ever gone through this? Where the you get assigned the science project, understand that, but they let the kids pick the science project subject on their own at school. I don't know, I don't know about y'all, but my mom made sure that she had some input on what. Um, we picked for our science project, especially at such a young age, because she was going to be helping us. So they picked their science project on their own and come home and say, hey, we got the science project due. It's due next month. This is December. They go back to school after Christmas. And Friday, they have to turn in the hypothesis explaining the questioning and pay the money for their um, science board. Cadence, sorry, I'm taking hair up. So yeah, trying to multitask, finish up the rest of the night, get some stuff done, and get them in the bed. So yeah, they gotta turn in their um, problem, question, purpose, and hypothesis. Friday and the money for the science board. I was like, we always just went and bought our board. But so yeah, they picked out their project. Now I must say the school somewhat did send a somewhat detailed paper explanation of what the projects entail. My son, he did a pretty cool job my daughter the one she picked it's gonna be a lot of cutting measuring you gotta use gotta go up somewhere high I don't have a two-story house we don't live in an apartment anymore this should be interesting but <sighs> mama gonna make it happen some kind of way. I'm not sure. We shall see. You find your scarf? I gotta tie this hair up. Tie out the floor. Put them dirty clothes. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah. 8 o'clock. Trying to wrap the night up. Get the rest of the nightly routine out the way. I don't know if y'all can see me. Come on, Cadence. Well, I just came in here. Wrap it up. Cause tomorrow. Oh, and my dishwasher's broken. Now I know. Yes, I have running water. And yes, I know how to wash dishes. But. Dishwashers just make it so much easier. Especially after you done cook dinner. And you're trying to finish up the rest of your night. You're trying to wash dishes, put a load of put a load of clothes in the washer dryer, wrap it up for the night. Dishwasher's broken. Put it up so you get in the bed, baby. Um, I don't get So you're finishing up some vocabulary work. What, what problem are y'all on? What problem are you all on? We're on number 14, which is on 15 to last one. Okay. So, yeah, my dishwasher's broken. Let me show you. So, the heating element basically melted the sprayer. Arm sprayer, I think it's called. I googled it. My mama helped me to. In half. It's in two pieces. 
two pieces. So yeah, I'm washing dishes the old school way. So gotta get that fixed. It's always something. Always something. Always something. But hey, just blessed to be able to get it fixed. Whew. All right. Um. I think that's it for now. I'm gonna make me maybe a shake real quick. I'm trying to get this weight loss, weight loss journey. Me and my mom somewhat have a competition going on. I don't think neither one of us taking it very seriously. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep from gaining anymore, but I need to work on losing. So that's what I'm working on. Um, I took it more serious last week, but this week hasn't really started off as a easy, just easy go week. But I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Um, gonna get them in the bed. I got a load of towels to fold, a load of clothes to wash, and then I'm taking a shower and I'm getting them in the bed. Their clothes for tomorrow I already ironed. And then I'm gonna lay it down because it's o'clock in the morning, I'll be here before you know it to get them up and get them out the door. Number three. So I will see you all tomorrow. Be blessed. Good morning. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It is 11 o'clock. I'm actually vlogging before noon today. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So I had to get up. I went and got my nails done. Had an appointment. Yes, I did. I did not take the camera inside. Um, what? Jail number 16? I don't know if it's the same at all salons. But I'm going to tell you in case someone know, wants to know. 16 at my salon. Um... I'm actually, I just bust a bump on my face. I know that's not good, but it was like ready to get popped. I wanted to pop it before Antoine tried to pop it. So, um, I'm actually over here at my cousin's house because my mom sent all the um, Christmas gifts she bought for the kids. We were supposed to get them for we went down there for Thanksgiving but my mama went overboard so I'm actually at his house waiting on him um, I don't know if he's gonna want to be on camera I'm gonna ask him before I throw him in the camera but we shall see but it's been a good day I guess yesterday was Wednesday I was not feeling well I had a migraine for majority of the day so I did not pick up the camera so if you all see where I skip a day it's probably because either um, majority it's probably because I had a migraine and I was not feeling well so please forgive me for that. <sighs> I'll be back in a minute. Hey y'all. So I got the stuff from my cousin's house. See how they're back there? Uh, it was nine bags. Nine big black trash bags. Yes, you heard me right. Nine black trash bags full of presents and no they are not gift wrapped that's okay that is okay that is fine because I feel like that maybe having to gift wrap them will help me get in the Christmas spirit 
a little more than what I am. Hopefully. I pray. But I do want my kids to know how blessed they are with their parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and all that jazzy stuff so and I am blessed to have them in my life because without them they probably wouldn't get half the things that they have so not coming on here to brag or anything I just want to say how blessed and happy I am to have them in our lives Christmas is not about the gifts but you know being a child and stuff they haven't right quite grabs grabs I can't say the right word grabs you know what I'm trying to say <laughs> the idea of what the holiday is all about and I am trying to instill what Christmas is about but yeah I'm getting in my feelings right now so yeah got everything back there so I'm about to run into the store real quick rambling but I'll talk to y'all later bye